Hi, everybody. Welcome to the newest edition of NSFW. Who do we have as our special guest? You don't know. I don't know what you'll find out in a few minutes. It's full of terrifying surprises. We're going to put that guest through their paces like a real broadcaster and throw some silly stories at him, see if he can make sense of them. Then he's going to give some life advice. This would all make a lot more sense if you knew who it was, but you're not going to know until a few seconds from now. But wait, right when you're about to turn off the episode and say, this is boring and you guys have no talent... Hold on, Buster Brown, because you're going to have a chance to win a lot of fun prizes in a new contest we invent. It's all coming up on this episode of NSFW Show. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 127, recorded on May 15th, 2012. Pizza. This episode of NSFW Show is brought to you by Squarespace.com, a fast and easy way to create a high quality website or blog. For a free trial and 10% off your first purchase on new accounts, go to squarespace.com and use offer code NSFW5. And now you can get a free domain registration with an annual plan subscription. And Netflix. Watch thousands of television episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, or TV instantly. All stream directly to you saving you time, money, and hassle. For your free 30-day trial, go to netflix.com slash twit. Pizza! (laughs) (laughs) When pizza's on a bagel, you can eat pizza! It is go time for NSFW, the new show full of wind, the new sauce for the Weber Dance Howdy Party people. My name is Brian Brushwood. I host this little shindig along with my BFF in the whole wide world with Mr. Justin Robert Young. What is going on, sir? Oh, man, Brian, I'll tell you what, that video done tickled my funny bone. <laughs> And uh, I'm really happy that everybody could join us. See, normally this is where I do a little song and dance, a little hoop to doodle and then I introduced our guest for this week's episode. However, we don't have a guest. We only have a cryptic series of videos well, that's been sent to us over the past week. I mean, you say we don't have a guest. I, it's almost like we just have a threat. Like, I, I mean, this is, I mean, look, let me show you. I got another one today. Like, shockingly close what? to the previous... Yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's, this one was totally different. Check this out. And then I guess, weirdly, the video was out of sync with the audio because he sent it to me. Whoever this mysterious person is sent it to me in full HD, forgetting that uh, that we don't transmit in full HD. So, so... <laughs> Yeah, so we're watching it. Extremely- well, it says things are about to get hotter. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> um. Yeah, man. Uh. Who? Who? Who could it be? I don't know. Ah! Oh uh, yes, I am back, and I put <laughs> it in AC is- to mess with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ayaz Akhtar! Ayaz Akhtar! Oh my god! Hello, gentlemen. Holy smokes! Whoa! What? Hello. People, Whoa! People, a long time ago. The chat room had no idea. They're freaking out. They're shouting that it's the devil himself. Oh, it's Pizza! Jesus. <laughs> Pizza! I do have a Pizza! <laughs> Sorry, you were saying. Holy crap, Ayaz, you haven't been on Twit 
Twitch.tv since after 5.30 ago. I, I know. I've not been on this network in a long time. I haven't been on it, this show in months. It's and literally been, been hours time. since you've been on the live stream, but you haven't been here in what what has it been, Brian? It's seventeen years. The uh, last time uh, I, I, it was a, it's it's a it's a dragonfly's lifetime is all I know. It's been a very long time. I remember March the point. last time I as was on, he was on and he said, "Listen, this might be a little crazy to say, but I think John F. Kennedy's going to get shot today." <laughs> And then, God damn it, if that dude but, didn't have his brain splattered in Dallas later that afternoon. You know what was weird was the way he said it and then winked at us afterwards as if he <laughs> knew something. He was just sort of like, ah, let me just say I wouldn't go anywhere near Dealey Plaza. And I was like, I also, what? I also said, I said, don't start a gaming podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and we said, forget you, as we rode off on our money bags and then and well, it fell off a cliff and died. <laughs> exactly. Well, I as... Welcome back to the show, a surprise that ranks among the most thrilling in all of the internet and television. Uh, we are going to do a lot of fun things, because it's funny, it's almost as if we planned this show just to have you on it. It's really remarkable that you uh, were able to make time. I, I would like to think of it as a very lucky coincidence. Every so often we get synchronicity on the NSFW show. Well, normally Absolutely. I just sit here all day, and I wait for somebody to call me so you wait all day i'm just i'm just right here and for this, us this, this is how i decorate the place when you guys aren't here <laughs> you sit there brooding in your fortress just, do yes. you just sit alone on the tnt set with all the lights for those of you who are listening to this well, all the lights on the tnt set are turned down red except for one ominous one that lights his face what? and i can just imagine you sitting there and people just kind of wander in like alex or liz have to come pick something up from the office and you just go what do you want? Yeah, exactly, right? And, and I was wondering, like, do you have maybe in, in any way a possibly more ominous shot than the one that you're sending to us right now? Is that, is that doable? Let there me see. There is a possibility. That, that, that was pretty good. That shot. was pretty there's good. This one. You're dark there's and one brooding. one that is far more intense. We're looking for it right now. Yo! Oh, ah! good God. <laughs> All right, now. I'll tell you what. I didn't know it was possible to evacuate my bowels and get a bodily erection at the same time, but I think that just happened. <laughs> All right, look. All I'm going to say is save that shot because there's going to be times we're going to need something specific from you, and you'll yes. know it when it happens. We're going to need that up-close ominous shot, but first, uh, Justin. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I told you I got a bit of news, actually. By the way, I'm, just, I'm getting uh, word from the street. TJM in the chat room said that what just what happened to me was a skeet sheet. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, listen, you learn something new every day here on the NSFW show, and today it was a skeet sheet for old germs. <laughs> so, here's the important thing, is I got a, a letter, an important communique from the chat realm elite. Look at this. Do you remember... Uh, do you remember... Did, uh, you remember the collectible coins that we had? The old John Smokey and NSFW collectible po coins? I bought like I bought like 20 of them. But like, look at that. Like, that is a bad. So they're for geocaching. See, what you do, kids, when you geocache is you throw this coin in some place where people go find it. And uh, and they, they they take one? Is that, a, is that how that works? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a give and you trade them around or stuff. They're about the size of a quarter. But uh, the folks who put it on, you know, we none of us made any money on it, including the people who, who did this. They just sold everything at cost because they just thought it would be awesome to have these NSFW coins. And they made one for old John Smokey as well. I'm going to see if I can find a eh, – whatever. But they sent me this email here from NSFW Collectibles, right? And it says okay. here, it says here, uh, May 11th, Brian, can we call you Brian? Or should we still use Mr. Brushwood, former host of Twits Game On, future father of Bobo Brushwood? Sorry, back to the point. He says, enclosed, please find a package. And there's an arrow to the D part of A equals 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 D. There and we says, go. Also, please find a sack. And this was in here, but he drew uh, an arrow to the eight. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And it says, thirdly, please find the remaining coins, which from the bottom of our hearts, we are kindly donating to the cause. Which cause? You decide that. Just make sure you don't give anything to jury. That mf -er didn't order anything. <laughs> Much gratitude. Corey, which is Marvin Skeletons, and Eddie, which is Eddie underscore P. P.S. S is going down in clay class. Uh, this may have been one of my favorite interactions with the chat realm I've ever had. This was fantastic. I just want to thank those guys. I, I don't think it's appreciate very cool. my cheapness being called out in the goddamn carpet <laughs> like that. <laughs> I didn't know we had to buy those things. I bought like 20 of them, too. <laughs> well, I didn't know that you were buying 20. I thought it was just like, hey, 
you, is this okay for people to do it? And I'm like, sure. I thought it was my largesse. That, yeah, of course you can go do it. That's great. And then meanwhile, what happens? Old cheapskate McGerbins. Old, old skeet cheat gerbs. Old <laughs> skeet cheat gerbs. He has, he has a skin flint of a, a wallet and can he's got alligator arms and it comes to paying for coins. Oh my god. Hey, uh, and by the way, this is all closed. This whole order is closed, but but if if people are interested, um hit us up online and we'll we'll figure out if there's some other awesome thing we could do. I like the idea that we never do one thing for very long. It's kinda like the show. Yeah, well, you know, we'll give them away somehow, unless, you know, you don't buy them. In that case, you'll get uh, mocked publicly for not buying them, apparently. If you don't buy them, then I'll show up on your front door step shouting, Pizza! (laughs) Now you're encouraging people to not buy it. That's the problem. (laughs) People are going to want you on their doorstep. They're going to call you on this, Schwood. There's a child. I'm going to not buy one just for this reason. There's a child going to sleep saying, but daddy, I didn't buy one just like you told me to. (laughs) And then the dad will say, (laughs) Pizza! And Brian, I'll tell you what, I'm really a fan of American history, and I really, really love uh, the Thomas Jefferson speech he gave to the <laughs> Continental Congress, in which he said, uh, fellow patriots. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I cut you off with the pizza as soon as you said fellow you had a little, patriots. You had a little air trigger. He said, fellow patriots. Pizza! Hey Brian, what do you want to do first? <laughs> I think uh, I think we have to tease the second segment because I forgot to um, uh, tease it in the pre-show. But here's the thing: pretty soon I'm going to need you guys to call in to I guess my personal Skype line. I didn't really put this all together. I'm going to need you guys to call in later on. Don't do it now. But you're going to be calling my Skype at schwood.com. That's S H W O O D D O T C O M. Looks like that. Uh, we're going to need you guys to ask life advice questions. Yeah. Pre- preferably not female related, but you guys are going to get on the line. Just tell us whatever personal stuff you got going on. Get and ask for advice. Like, should this I is more or like, a, like a, not necessarily like a love line, but more like a uh, Tony Robbins. See, I as here is a man who obviously just look at that. That's a guy who knows what's going on in life. He's going to lead you down the right path to glory and victory. Uh, look, a man with that kind of beard, that that's a man who knows what's going down. You're going to want to call in later, and, and we're going to have life advice from, from my ass. Right, but first, here's the thing. We have the, the illustrious co-host of Tech News Today. This is Twit's go-to home for insight for all things tech, right? And we'd be remiss if we didn't take advantage of the opportunity to sort of, I don't know, limber them up, get them in the zone, you know, get focused. Well, I'll put you through your paces. Uh, uh, I, do you remember the first time you were on this show? A long time ago. It was in this little cottage, this little, this little uh, dank hole uh, that we had over on the uh, other side of the road there. The I wrong remember. side of the tracks yeah, in back, back on planet right. Earth before you ascended to the emperor's throne. Yeah, before I showed up to the brick house with Sabretooth behind me over there. <laughs> Indeed. So uh, what we did is you were new back then, and we had to yes. put you through your paces to see how you would handle breaking news. Now, yes. obviously, you've had a big career with TNT since then. Yes, you have I've won Ion, numerous awards since I've show. Actually, this you... show has won awards since I've shown up. Uh, so that's very important to note. It's <laughs> so, very yeah, exciting, it's much actually. Better since I've been no, here. that's fantastic. Indeed, indeed. So what we're going to do is maybe uh, we're, we're going to see how you do this time. Same idea. We're going to have we're going to break in with breaking news. I'm going to read the news story. Brian's going to maybe pepper me with a few questions. And then we're going to throw to you. But and this you're time, going to have to give your your analysis. Yeah, this isn't just you reporting live on the scene. This is you taking the bigger issue, synthesizing it, making it approachable to the everyman, and giving them an opinion that they can pinch and claim credit for tomorrow at the water cooler. Any questions? I think I'm good to go. <clears throat> All right. So now we go back to Twit's regularly scheduled program. Special report. 
I'm sorry, breaking news. Sorry to interrupt regular twit. My name is Brian Brushwood, live on the scene. We have important issues going down. We're going to kick it over to our correspondent, Justin Robert Rubles IV. Thank you, Brian. Breaking news, ousted CEO of Yahoo, Scott Thompson, released a statement today finally acknowledging that he is not the Kids in the Hall cast member, Scott Thompson. Quote, I regret any confusion I might have caused by my body jokes. Although I'm really just a fan of the Buddy Cole character, I am in fact not legendary gay Canadian comedian Scott Thompson, read a statement from Thompson's lawyer. After allegedly lying about his resume and later admitting that he's been diagnosed with a treatable form of cancer, whispers recently pegged Thompson as the chicken lady creator. I am not the queen of Scotland, the letter concluded. Oh, so this is, and that's that's the extent of the letter. That's the extent of the letter. And this is this is as of how long ago? This is a minutes ago. We are now uh, officially confirmed he is not Scott Thompson of Kids in the Hall. All right, that's good to know. Listen for the political insight that makes Twit the powerhouse that it is. We're going to kick things over to the cast over at Tech News today. Let's take it away, Tom Merritt. What do you got? Uh, but it's a good idea, don't you think? Well, Tom, it really is a good idea. I think you're right. What Mr. Thompson had to do, because of this whole resume gate thing, I mean, a lot of people thought he had a computer science degree, but the thing that people were most upset about was the fact that he claimed he was, in fact, on Kids in the Hall. Now, we all believed that a person who had the, the comedic sense, a sense of humor, could finally figure out what to do with Yahoo, because nobody knows what Yahoo does, really, and maybe a comedian could figure it out. And that is why we were all so disappointed that Scott Thompson was not Scott Thompson. So when you're at the water cooler tomorrow, what you should be talking to your friends about, you should be saying, Yahoo's in a better place now, because the Scott Thompson they picked was the wrong Scott Thompson. Let's get Scott Thompson in Yahoo. Oh my gosh, there's a spider on the table. Well, there's a spider on the table. Kill it, Sorry, kill it, Darren, kill it. That's it from the breaking news desk. <laughs> Back to our regular scheduled program. I'm sorry, this big news just getting in. We interrupt this week in Googling Googles. Justin, what's going on? More breaking news, Brian. New developments from the ongoing IP trial between Oracle and Google. After a ruling from Judge William Alsup, a pissing match ensued on the court floor. Amongst catcalls from the gallery and the supportive hoots from both legal teams, Google CEO Larry Page began with a simple stream before changing colors from blue to green to yellow to red to signify his company's colors. Plus one, bitch, he yelled at Oracle CEO Larry Ellison upon completion. Both sides broke for the day and will resume in the morning. Rumors are swirling that Ellison is on a strict fish oil diet before his performance tomorrow morning. Hmm. Now, do you, uh, how are you feeling about this, Justin? Well, it seems like things have finally stepped up a notch, and we're going to see who's number one when trial resumes tomorrow. Well, I'll tell you what. To find out whether or not it is a good idea, we're going to kick things over to the crew over at Tech News Today. Take it away, Tom Merritt. Uh, but it's a good idea, don't you think? It is a good idea. What was actually seen at the courtroom, if you didn't notice, by the way, was a slight crossing of the streams during the pissing match. And it has a lot of people wondering if Oracle and Google are going to settle what's going on because the streams crossed. They might think a possible merger might take care of the entire settlement. So what you need to look at is the symbolism in the act because this is so much better than every social network Google's done. And this social kind of thing kind of works. I'm pretty sure this means a settlement is in order. Oh, my gosh, there's a spider on the table. Well, there's a spider on the table. Kill it, Sorry, kill it, Darren, yeah. kill it. <laughs> Back to our regularly scheduled program. Special report. OMG. Out for the, in for the vacationing, <laughs> Justin Robert Young, it's Tom Jigglestocks. Take it away, Tom. Tom Jigglestocks here with some breaking news. Foxconn CEO Terry Gow is retracting the next words that come out of his mouth. Refusing to comment on what he was planning to say, he only emphatically stated that he was he'd be misinterpreted if he said it, and it certainly had nothing to do with the Apple TV he's been working on. Ah, oh, fiddlesticks, Terry, he said while slapping his head, you done goofed again. 
Gao's phone then promptly rang. After answering the call, he was dressed down by a comically loud voice which rose, out, rose the phone out of Gao's hand and admitted lightning bolt-like characters to illustrate a really loud noise was coming out of it. You know, like a cartoon. After hanging up, Gao promptly retracted his retractions along with any future retractions that may or may not be in the offing. This way, he added, Tim Cook wouldn't get mad at him the next time he talked about the Apple TV set. Poop! Shouted Gao, <laughs> retracting his latest ample foible. Uh, but it's a good idea, don't you think? It's definitely not a good idea. You never, ever talk about what Apple project you're working on. Now, Gal made a mistake. You never talk about that stuff. And the thing about Tim Cook, he might look like a nice guy. He's got his shirt untucked and everything, but he will skin you alive. I've seen it happen. So please, if, you're, if you work with Apple, keep it quiet. Oh, my gosh, there's a spider on the table. Well. There's a spider on the table. Kill it. Sorry. Kill it, Darren. Kill it. Oh my gosh! In for the vacationing Tom Jiggle stocks is not just Robert Young, but celebrity impressionist Rich Little doing his very best, Ira Sockman. <laughs> oh, hold on, wait a minute. Uh, Rich Little actually just walked out of the studio. <laughs> I'm sorry, wait. Special report. This just in Rich Little died in a plane crash. <laughs> And instead is the actual <laughs> Cyrus Sockman. Hello, Brian. <laughs> Facebook co-founder Eduardo Savard has been found disheveled and dirty on the steps of the Gotham Police Department. Jesus, said Savard. This is just like that one scene from The Dark Knight, he told confused police officers. Savarin has committed no crime, but has been criticized for renouncing his American citizenship before cashing in his Facebook stock after the IPO went public. He has no clue why he was kidnapped and brought back to U.S. soil. Someone just came out of nowhere, said Savarin. It called itself the Winkle Vostridge. Uh, but it's a good idea, don't you think? I definitely think it is. I think one of the things that people always overlook is that when any any company IPOs, there will be a kidnapping. It happens every single time, and they have to pick somebody who was slighted out of the company. In this particular case, it of course was the Winkle Vostridge. This happens a lot. It's just common practice for for everyone freaking out. This happens every IPO. Oh my gosh! There's a spider on the table. Well. <laughs> kill it! Kill it, Darren! Kill it! Special report. Uh, this just in to comment on how well uh, how well Iaz did in his analysis. We actually have uh, the gumshoe voice. Go. <laughs> Follow the clues, gumshoes. You know that there was no component to this bit that involved me doing so many voices. But as it turns out, if the chat realm asks, Brian will lead me into anything, and I have no spine to say no. <laughs> That was a little too much inside baseball, but that was very well done. Holy cow. <laughs> well done, Ayaz. Oh, there we go. Goodness. There we go. Say yes from me. I'll, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, no, you get a billion plus ones from the internet. Congratulations. And I love the addition of Hellfire to your set. It brings that, uh, that warming glow of the hearth fire of the eternally damned behind you. Hey, uh, right now we got a ton of people calling in or getting ready to call in on Skype. But first, we got to take a moment uh, to to thank the folks who make our show possible. You you want to know what? Shut up, Brian. This month's overall message is focused on Squarespace. No, I I don't I don't I, I'm sorry. I went over the line on that one. Hey, buddy. Hey, I, that was a me problem. I'm sorry. No, I mean it's whatever. You want to know what? How about this? How about I get you some of the several great new incentives that are happening during May, which makes it one of the best ever times to sign up for a Squarespace account, especially annual plans. I get you the best deal. You want to know what it is? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You want to know what it is? What? What is it? Do you want to know? I'm going back to drinking. Do you want to, do you want to know? I'll tell you. <coughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. It's a free domain and the lowest price ever. An additional 10% off. Squarespace is now offering free domain registration to all annual plan customers, including big, awesome dudes like you. And it's completely integrated within the sign-up process. Hassle-free <laughs> setup. 
and approximately a $15 value. Hey, buddy, look at you with a $15 value. They're going to be calling you the $15 value kid. <laughs> You're going to be walking down the street. And it's like, hey, man, where'd that $50 value kid come from? Try. You're going to be like, you'll be like, hey, I'm the $50 value kid. <laughs> Squarespace also recently reduced its prices, now offering plans as low as $8 a month. And Squarespace is still giving 10% off your first purchase on new accounts. For example, this means 10% off your first month on monthly plans, including to the 50% kid. <laughs> I am first one. 10% off your first year on annual plans. Listen, Brian, your offer code is NSFW5 because it's May. You know what May is? What what is me? Fifth month of the year. So, We're almost halfway through the goddamn year. We're gonna celebrate by throwing a big fat five in our code. How many shots are you gonna take, you alcoholic? You have a family. Fine. Fine. It's fine. Are we okay? I saw. I'm sorry for yelling. No, I no, said, we're, we're shut up. I shouldn't have said shut up. <laughs> we're, we're, we're totally good. But I am glad that uh, that I've got a new life ahead of me as the fifteen dollar kid. Yes, it's exciting. the fifteen dollar value kit. <laughs> All right, so what, what just happened? I don't know. Did it again? Weird. Uh, here's the important thing: is everyone is about to call in to get life advice from Iaz, right? Now, here's the thing: Iaz, do you have a lot of experience on on the radio giving call in radio advice? None at all, whatsoever. But I love get, telling people what to do. No, That's see, fun. we got that. We we sense that about you, and we're kindred Good. spirits. We're on the same page, dude. Here's, dude, but Brian, the only thing that even reminds me is you ever. Um, and I know, like, you're like a radio fan, like I am. But like, uh, back in 1985, and this was like in in like the heyday of of Howard Stern when he had that one really really awesome line that he used to say whenever people would call in, and I think it went a little something. <laughs> like <laughs> pizza <laughs> when pizza's on the bagel <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, folks. Here's what you're gonna do, uh, Brian. Uh, you're gonna they're gonna call into your Skype. It is Scam School Brian on Skype. No, 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 right? no. It's Schwood.com. I'll spell that. Schwood.com. <clears throat> but but do me a favor. Don't don't send. Uh, I think the the whole world will melt if it tries to send video. So just send audio only. Because right now we've got we got the Justin feed. We're recording locally. We have four Skype instances open, and over here I've got pizza. <laughs> Perpetually on go time. So we got our first caller right now. Here's right. the thing. Let, let me get him on the line. We'll, we'll say hello. <clears throat> caller, are you there, sir? Caller, right. turn down God your radio. radio. I'm on the line. Just wait a minute, Justin. <laughs> no, you wait Boston a minute. Caller. Turn down your goddamn radio. All right, you want me to, I'm gonna hang up on him. You want me to hang no. up? On him? No. I'll leave him there. Leave him there. Okay. Leave him right, there. Listen, listen. Him first him of all, caller, if you want to, if you want to give, if you want to be happy for the rest of your life, make an ugly woman your wife. Okay. Um, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Why don't you tell us? Tell us what your problem is. We'll go ahead and kind of find out what we can. We're like the screeners for Ayaz. Look, Ayaz, look at that man. All right. Look at that man and his intense face. He does not have time. He's over there solving crises. Oh, I can tell. Shut up, caller. Shut your <laughs> face. <laughs> you don't talk and while Ayaz is on screen. All right. Now, what's, what's your problem, caller? Well, uh, first of all, I'm drunk, and I like this girl, and uh, we just you, hung out the I'm other day. Okay, I'm, I'm uh, hanging up right now. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull back the curtain right now, <laughs> because when we were talking, <laughs> when we talked about before the show, and I said, I want to take calls, because it's electric and crazy, you never know what's going to happen, and, <laughs> and and he was like, yeah, but don't get Brody's the only way it works because all they have to do is be interesting. I'm like, no, let's open it up. Let's do qu life questions and stuff. And then yeah. Justin and said, I, and I'm, like, I'm like, oh, like, like, what do we do? Like business things, like things that happen in the office or whatever. Brian's like, nah, man, let's leave it out in the open. And I'm like, if it's out in the open, the only thing anyone's ever going to call about is chicks. Right. That's it. Well, no, and specifically the way you phrased it was you're like, everyone's going to call. Just be like, oh, I don't know. I like this girl. What should I do? <laughs> And this guy was perfect. All right. 
Uh, let's. This is the one. This is the one. After this, if you mention that you like a girl, you're instantly banned for life from from Twit. Leo Laporte told me that the other day. Uh, all right, <laughs> I as. What should he do about the girl he likes? He just likes a girl and he's yep. drunk. Yep. First thing you do, you don't call her because you're drunk. That's the worst thing you could do right now. You should text her incessantly, though. All right, no, hold on. Yeah, all I, kinds I, of I, images. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Look, look, look. This, this is really good advice. This is really good advice. Justin, well, had maybe you gotta sexy it up a little bit, yeah, right? Kind of punch it up a little bit. Yeah, what, what do you think we should do here? Uh, I, as, I want yes. you to distill your opinion into three words, okay? I mean, maybe we'll have a little musical buildup that goes straight. Oh, to it. that's good. And then, that's good. and then, and here, here's what we'll do: is is we will, we'll build it up. We'll cut over, and then I want you to look right at the camera that's pointing at you right now, and give your advice. The three word <laughs> advice. Okay, we're gonna play a music cue, and then you can and explain. At the end it. of the music cue, you just say your three word advice, and then explain why it it is your advice. Okay. All right. So here we go. So so Justin, why don't you toss it over? Uh, well, I as what do you think? Sext all things. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, now let's go now. Now, give us the, give us the explanation. What does that mean? It means when you have this opportunity while you were drunk and you like this girl, take as many photographs as you can and send them as texts. Oh and then if she responds, you're very, very well off. If she doesn't respond, meh. <laughs> I feel like this, this is gold. It's gold. This is, this is like the devil's own advice show, man. This is amazing. All right. We got another caller on the line. Caller. Hey. So my question is. Are you is, twisting balloons? Um, I am afraid of success. Um, I want to be a big podcaster like Mr. Iaz. And I was wondering how I could be less afraid. Oh, but not us. Say. What do we chop goddamn liver? <laughs> hold, on, hold on, I didn't hear his question. You want your question was what? Um, I want to be a successful podcaster, like like the devil, yep, like yep, Mister Dias. Yep. And uh, I'm afraid of success. I'm told, and I was wondering what I could do to uh, get over that. Oh, so you're saying um, like you so you sabotage your own events, right? You you're afraid of success, and so you you do things that are stupid and that ruins everything. Yes. All right. Well, I, well I, I, I give me give me an example though, real quick. How are you afraid of success? Like, what do you do that sabotages yourself? Um, I uh, quit things as soon as they uh, start getting popular. Yeah, that'll do it. Doing, yeah, that'll do it. Or I give up on. Things. Starts to feel like work at that point. You're just like, yeah, oh, I, 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 too I, much I, expectation. I gotta watch TV. Give me, give me, give me a give me a line on popular. Like, what became popular, and then you bailed on it. Um. I was doing this podcast, and like three of my friends subscribed to it, and I decided to uh, stop. Doing too much it pressure. Too much too pressure. Much. See, that we look forward to having that problem. That would be fantastic if we ever got up to the three people. Uh, but I'll tell you, it's not uh, up to us. Well, yeah, I'll tell you what. I, I can feel the sulfur smell start to build up in my nostrils. The smoke is beginning to billow from the vents. I believe it's time for the devil himself to give his advice. <laughs> Do not podcast. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> man, that's a slam dunk from the man himself. I hope you enjoy your new career, buddy. Um, all right, we've got we've got Ryan calling back. Maybe he has a different question. Caller, you're on the air. Hello. Yes. Hello. Oh gosh. Different question. Caller, you're on the air. Oh, yes. you are banned from. The are you world. serious? Are you it was serious? the same guy. It was the same guy calling back a second time. Look, the devil got angry and l walked off set when he heard that. He physically got up and left. Well, now he's back. But the point is he walked off for a moment. He did walk off. That did happen. All right, caller, you better have a good question to say this. Go. All right. So I know I as is a musician. I've seen his videos. He's got a bunch of guitars on his wall. I have a Jay Terser Les Paul style. Uh, does that make me less of a man because it's not a Gibson? Um, or is it okay because I'm really not that good? Or what, 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 what do you think? Man, I'll tell you what. This is. What, I say we bypass the screen or kick this one straight over to the man downstairs. Ladies and gentlemen, what does the devil think? Not a man. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> what is that music? That's his, that's his theme. That's the devil theme. It's the devil's theme. 
Yeah. <laughs> He's down there listening to, to that jazz music that terrifies all the Christians. Sure. Uh, all right, quick, caller, go. What is your life problem? And you're gone. All right, next up, quick, caller, go. Wait, caller, go. You're on. Go. I graduate on Sunday, so tomorrow is the last day that I see a professor that I've been at war with for the last three years. What should I do? Oh, this is great. Now, define war. Like, has he tried to screw with your grades, or, like, did you bang his assistant, or what's the deal? Um, yeah, he tried to mess with my grades. He, I had him as a sophomore, and he told my advisor that I was just, like, the worst person ever. Now, yeah, well, then, this didn't come out of nowhere. Like, he clearly did. Did you show up smelly or late one day, or? No, I'm just, I'm a quiet guy, so I don't participate a ton in class, but I get good grades. Hmm. What kind of class was it? Um, business management. Hitler appreciation. Sorry. <laughs> was... <laughs> we just went two different ways on that. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now, now, what does your gut tell you? Do you like want to set fire to something? Do you want to just blow up with a nasty prank on your way out? And 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 is, is there any chance you could get screwed before you actually graduate? Um, I want to do something subtle but awesome. Like I take an exam, so I want to like write something in for the last question. Oh just... shoot! So this is on his question. Yeah. Okay. Number one. I'm, I don't know what the devil's going to say. Here's my thing. Find his home address and just write that over and over and over again as the answer to your last question. <laughs> all the public data information you can scrape. Just all in yep. perfect blocked, block text with no no formatting, just everything. Da -da 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 and fill it up yeah. with pages. But it doesn't matter what we say, because, ladies and gentlemen, we have the foremost expert on everybody's life. Ladies and gentlemen, direct from hell, what's the devil got to say? Hug it out. Hold on. Wait. Oh, there we go. No. Wait a minute. Hold on. I thought he was gone. Oh, no, 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 no. See, see, he's got it down. No, he's got it down with, to make an interest. Oh, I'm right, sorry. I screwed fact, that one up. Ladies and gentlemen, it. what's the devil got to say? Hug it out. See? That's the devil's advice. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> I'll tell you what. This next one, I ask, do me a favor. Give, give your insight, and then, and then just keep – we'll keep the camera on you, and then when you hear the devil's theme, just give us one of that, those award-winning devil smiles and just kind of just kind of jazz out in the flames for us, all right? Well, I've been doing that the whole time. You just well, haven't seen it. I know, baby. See, but now I'm seeing it. Now I'm telling Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I'm taking credit for it like it's my idea. So when you Brilliant do it. Brilliant idea, be, Brian. I see, love it. That's okay. See, that's you love exactly. It. All right. Caller, you're on the air. I'm addicted to the Taco Bell Doritos taco, and I need to kick this habit. What well, do I do? Why? Well, it's hold beautiful. on. Why it, would you want it out of your life? It's amazing. Is it a limited time thing, though? Maybe he's like preemptively worried about me because I wouldn't want to be a, addicted to the McRib. I'd be like super upset when it it's goes exactly away. like that. Oh, it's, it's a limited time thing. I, I, no, man, I this think is going to so. be like the It's so popular. It's going to stay forever and ever and never go away. Chalupa was a temporary thing. Oh, hell Cheesy yeah. Cheesy Gordita Crunch was a temporary thing. Luckily, they, you know. Well, they I'll tell you what, if thing. you try to kick the habit now, it's going to become temporary, and then you'll be part of the problem, and you'll think, I had love. Taco, sweet tacos for me to put my lips on. Doritos, tacos, locos. That's right. That's what they're and then, called. And then you will think when it goes away that it was your fault. And you know what? You'd be right. But it's not I up to us. Just wait, because you know that there's going to eventually come a time when the ultimate's going to happen, and that's the Doritos, locos, cool ranch taco. Or oh. the Doritos Cheetos taco, where they replace or, the cheese with the... Or the Doritos Asbestos taco. <laughs> or even better, the Cheesy Gordita Doritos taco. Way to get in the middle of a hilarious bit. Yeah, dude, awesome. we were... See, that's, that's Jesus like... Christ. that's Okay, you realize you're like watching the Spurs and the Patriots play sports ball against each other. <laughs> And then you just ran into the field with a lacrosse stick and kicked over our chessboard. And it's like, you can't do that, bro. And then hucked a curling rock. Okay. You know what? You know, I just shut Ladies you off. and gentlemen, what does the devil have to say? Buy and freeze. I just see 
trust it. I just need you to just a little faster on the music. And we got ourselves an award-winning pilot right here. I think we need one more. Yeah. One more. It. And we'll be good. All right. Let me do this one's been calling a bunch. Caller, you're on the air. What's up? Oh, you were not ready. And now I am hanging up. Mm. I'll do this one right here. Caller, what you got? Okay, I started this recent this new job, uh, and I need work advice. How do I make it get ahead in this? What kind? What, what kind of job? What kind is of it? job do you have? What are you doing? Turning tricks? I just hung up on him. Uh, Ryan oh, Alcock keeps a calling muffly? back. What's that? He was a little muffly. Yeah, too muffly, and he didn't respond. Caller, you're up. What's up? You better be good because I'm about to click on Ryan Alcott next. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, my boss is a dick. What should I do? <laughs> See? All right. What um what what what's your job? Um I work on computers. Uh how long have you done it? About 4 months. Now, well, it, but my boss is a main dick, but everyone in the office is a dick. Okay, well, no, okay, give us an example of their dickery. Well, they're like Hey, uh, hey there. I want you to do all this work, and then they shoot me with the Nerf gun and call me a homo. <laughs> I mean, but, like, that sounds almost playful. Like, they want you to be it's part of the playful. team there. That's sexual harassment. That's You can't do that in the workplace. No. I don't want to play. Also, I, just want I mean, to do this, also is, this affects the advice, though, and the devil might want to know, are you, in fact, a homo? <laughs> okay, that doesn't matter. You can't call. I'm not a homo. Okay, well, okay, but look. I mean, because it'd be better if you were. It sounds like you'd have more of a fun uh, spend sense of spirit if you were. No, maybe. no, no, no. Okay, okay, here's here's the real question. How, have how... you tried homoing it up a little bit? Oh, okay, that's a uh, question. Not how... too much experience homo in it. How big? <laughs> how big? <laughs> you think you just maybe a little bit of homoing and, you know, like. <laughs> All right. I you just... could be a homeowner. <laughs> Question: You can start off small. Question: How how big of a company is this? Is this Fortune 500? The world's most powerful company. <laughs> That's a lie. You're lying to me now. Number one, I don't even believe that you're uh, that somebody even called you a homo. Of course. Uh, you know, is what? this a Fibber McGee and Molly? There's only one way to find out. Let's go to our resident expert, ladies and gentlemen. You know him as Beelzebub, old scratch himself, ladies and germs. Put your hands together. Let's find out what's the devil think. Do your boss. <laughs> <laughs> People are saying that that call was fake and gay, but obviously he was just fake. <laughs> Touche. All right, this the, the chat room was pleading for one more. They said that this person had a really good problem. Caller, you're on the air. Okay, my question's really, really simple. I met a famous interwebs person who had just published a book and asked them to sign said book. And they signed it with, you are greater than antibiotics. Is it possible to be greater than antibiotics? I don't know. Uh, was was this person very handsome? Yes, and he had just released a book, and he was very proud to have a fan come to a show that had had no guest at the show yet, apparently. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, the, yeah, but this this guy was like he was way cool, right? Like, uh, yes, and he had an awesome gun from an awesome video game made for him that evening. That's weird. <laughs> I'm gonna let you carry this self-aggrandizing <laughs> horse parade. Yeah, yeah, but the thing, the whole reason I'm picking it up this way is because I'm expecting you to turn around. Like that, I was gonna say would obviously blow myself up, and then you were gonna be like, "Yeah, but does he smell really bad and possibly oh, abuse?" Hey, does he smell like AIDS? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't recall. I was kind of congested that evening. You ever got a good whiff of AIDS though? One time, you're just like, "Oh God, who broke the AIDS open in here?" And then, like, you smell Brian, and you're like, "Oh, it smells like that one time." All right, <clears throat> and that's the end of that bit. Let's ask what the <laughs> let's ask what the devil thinks. What's a dick?
gal is like a racehorse. I play her to win. But if I should lose her... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's been another round of Ask the Devil, brought to you, of course, by Netflix. You might ask yourself, why Netflix? Well, friend, don't worry, I'll give you a taste of it right now. Do me a favor and go on to your Mac, PC, iPad, iPhone, or TV and say, I would like to play thousands of television shows or movies. If you don't have Netflix, friend, well, you're spit out of luck. Don't worry. Use your free 30-day trial by going to netflix.com slash twit. Yes, as quick as you can say, drop a bomb on Hiroshima, you'll have access to hours and hours of content that you'll get nowhere else. Netflix, friends, is so fast and easy and affordable to boot. Head on over one more time, netflix.com slash twit, and you'll get 30 days free. There we go. Netflix saving you time, money, <laughs> And hassle, no matter what the devil says. Hear that, devil? Why don't you eat eat that, sir? Hey, I'll, I'll drink it. Do you want to know, Justin, how good uh, uh, the freaking chat realm is? Like, like beyond beyond our farthest imaginings. I'm trying to capture this correctly so that it all shows up in here. Do you realize that since the show began, Blender MF has has put up at alpha.soundbuilder.com slash a bunch of other crap. Uh, he put up a sound build, sound builder that is nothing but uh, but pizza. And you just click it. And wait, just... hold on, wait a minute, Brian. Um, that actually reminds me uh, of a movie that you can actually get on Netflix. Wh- which one? I was directed by Donald Petrie. Yeah. It uh, was written by Amy Holden Jones. Yeah. And it starred Annabelle, Annabeth Gish, Julia Roberts, and Lily Taylor and Vincent D'Onofrio. And I believe it was called Mystic. <laughs> when pizza's on a bagel, you can eat pizza. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I think I get, apparently it got a little premature. It's Mystic Pizza. I just want to let you know. I didn't know where it was headed. <laughs> All I knew is I wanted to press the pizza button. <laughs> is that available on Netflix? Right? Are you? It li- certainly is, folks. Netflix, thirty days free trial. Yes. You'll be in and out of jail for public intoxication and still have plenty of time to watch your free thirty day. Netflix trial subscription. Yeah, all you have to do Netflix is head on over to on trial. Netflix.com slash twit, right? Netflix.com slash twit is the place where you're going to go. Pizza! <laughs> <laughs> it looks like, uh, is that is that pretty much it? Are we are we done with the show? Uh, technically, I don't know. We can freeform for a while. We got plenty of time to fill. We started a little bit late, and so we're a little bit early on. We're only like 43 minutes and 20 seconds into the program. How long you been with Twit now, I ask? A uh, little over a year now. How are you feeling about it? Because you realize, like, I was, I'm not going to say who, but we were talking, to a, I was talking to a friend of mine uh, who was talking. Betting uh, against me? <laughs> no, no. Well, he was, he was talking about how he was flirting with Twit as well. And I got to imagine that when the brick house was being put up and, and there was all the talk about, like, hey, man, stuff, something, something's really happening over at Twit, like, we met at that CES, and 20 minutes later, you already had a U-Haul, and we're, we're moving the family out to the West <laughs> West Coast. Like, you wanted it more than anyone I'd seen. I was like, man, Ayaz has got the stuff. He's just up and boogie to the West Coast. Yeah, that was kind of an insane thing. That that was like a couple of years ago, like two years ago, or uh, two, CES 2011. And uh, they offered me the gig, and this is the gig I wanted. And I just so happened to get a new job about three months before that. And boy, did I piss those people off when I left. Oh, my God. I was there for... I was there for 100 days before I told them I wanted to go. And, wow. And uh, certain people didn't talk to me for two weeks. So, Wait, Was that the entire duration of your two weeks' notice that they just didn't talk to you in the hallway? Uh, no, I was actually there for, for about uh, 18 days. Wow. So wow. after the two so weeks were over, out. people chilled out a little. Wow. Uh, uh, real quick, Justin, just as an aside, uh, pizza.squarespace.com is now up. It's uh, p i z z a a dot squarespace dot com. You see, there's a little, look. You could even play. 
pizza. <laughs> and there's here, there's Iaz dancing. Am I about, and about me a, uh, jumping out of the uh, telephone booth in somewhere in New York. There's a whole bunch of uh, collection of their favorite pizzas as well. God, I just am. now let me let me ask you this, Iaz, because I don't know if you've heard, but uh, I'm I'm not uh, unfortunately I'm not coming to to Twit, but I am moving out to the Bay Area uh, from the East Coast. I'm kind of a, an East Coast guy. I, I've grown up. All my formative years have been spent out here either in Florida or New York. Uh, do you have any advice for me moving out? Any, any startling realizations that, that you made after moving out? Absolutely. Uh, so the beers here are fantastic if you like IPAs. Uh, I, I know this. When I was over in the East Coast back in New York, if I wanted to buy a Lagunese IPA, it cost 15 bucks, and you had to go to a specialty beer store. Here in town, it's like eight bucks, and it's at the gas station. All right. Well, you, you should it, it should be pointed out that Lagunitas is brewed right there in Petaluma, though, right? That's that's true, and that's the thing. Really awesome beers if you like IPAs. If you don't like IPAs, well, you're out of luck. So I suggest drink, and you'll love it out here. Drink plenty of IPAs is what you're saying. Yes, yes I do like do IPAs. IPAs. I drink the crap out of them. I look at them, and I'm like, I'm gonna smuggle you home in my belly. Somebody in the chat room is saying, I heard there's no Dunkin' Donuts in California. I don't ever see Dunkin' Donuts out in the West Coast. Is that a and well, I guess there's is there's no Krispy Kremes out there either because Krispy think, Kreme is mainly southeast. You can get like Dunkin' Donuts in like the supermarket. But you yeah, can't that get ain't it, the same. Like, there's no stores. Yeah. The Wait, same. what the hell is that about? What you'll get over it. Trust me. Why I'll don't they have Dunkin' Donuts? I'll, I'll tell you what they have though. They're crazy for the hamburgers on the West Coast. They love the hamburgers. Whoa. Oh Let's yeah. In and out of this. Overrated. Whoa. Overrated. I'll My say name it. is Pitt, and your ass ain't talking your way out of this. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, what do people go for coffee? Hey, Dunkin' Donuts is the best. For coffee? See, I don't, well, you I, like, you I like Dunkin' liked... Donuts coffee? That's like water, dude. Yeah, like Dunkin' Donuts to me has, and maybe it's a, a southern thing for me, but it's like donuts equals Krispy Kreme. Like Dunkin' Donuts equals dirty and smelly and overpriced. Because, okay, and you're you're nodding, and they're like, yeah, that's great. That's not. Here's what I like about Dunkin' Donuts, though. And this <clears> is something that like Starbucks or your Pete's or, or wherever you go they don't got this, is they have whatever system they have at any Dunkin' Donuts you go to, from, you know, Falmouth, Massachusetts, to Homestead, Florida. You show up at a Dunkin' Donuts, you ask for a coffee with lots of cream, lots of sugar, that thing will come out exactly the same way, no matter where you go, ever. But, but you realize you've just made a pitch for it being the McDonald's of, of coffee places, which is not saying a lot. It is when you want a lot of cream and a lot of sugar in a coffee. If McDonald's did that, I'd be like, yes, I would love to go to a McDonald's right now well, and get a coffee. Listen, Justin, what you're going to have to do is you're actually going to have to talk to your local barista, and they will set up your coffee the way you want it. And then you'll be a regular. Maybe so you can use like a, that, that, that I have to like make thick. friends like, with a hey, dude I'm with Justin. four I want lots of with not double coffee zero in spacers coffee. in his ears. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem is Justin's ant inherently antisocial. He wants to growl and point at something and just get exactly what he wants. I got it. I got it figured out. He just has to wear a sandwich board everywhere he goes. <laughs> On the outside, he says, I would like my coffee this way. He can just actually mount an iPad to it. <laughs> And, and it actually it has it. instructions. It's like an OSHA safety sheet that you're giving. Instructions. Talk to me. <laughs> Push here. I'm gonna be lost. I'm gonna be like, because I feel like with Dunkin' Donuts, there's like a shorthand. Like there's actually like, like there's like code. There actually is. I think we talked about it before the show. There's like code for Dunkin' Donuts. Like you yeah. can say like light and sweet, and they know exactly but, that but, means like but, four see, sugars. You're gonna get that free. times a million because they got In and Out Burger on the West Coast. You're gonna be able to like, there's like three items on the In and Out Burgers menu, but then there's and like then the rest 40. of it's all secret. Yeah. Uh, Code secret combinations of all the same crap, which is the hilarious part. It's like, <laughs> you know, but Aaron, that, that's like another thing. I don't know, but like, it isn't because In and Out Burger is like a religious thing, right? Like a like Chick fil A. What do you think is better? What do you think is more aligned with God? Chick fil A or In and Out Burger? Uh, well, Chick fil A, I know, is closed on Sundays, and so that makes them God's so God prefers them. God, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In and Out Burger is open on Sundays? Yeah, no, no, no. They're sinners. They're, they're more I as his team. <laughs> I have not tried Chick fil A yet out here. Oh, I've my only God. Had in, in and Out. So. Wait, Wait is Chick fil A? Have, have you never had Chick fil A, period? That's correct. Can we. Oh, you know what? Maybe he is the devil. That's why Possibly. like he can't he can't touch the the god chicken. And then he goes there that to explains everything. and he just sees like like he's about to pick up the burger and he's like <laughs> he's like it's <laughs> burning. Yeah. No, actually I haven't tried it yet. I haven't been out. I didn't look I don't so know if one in Petaluma. They have a pickle on it? <laughs> oh, how delightful. 
<laughs> exactly. Uh, I've not tried that out yet. Okay, but. so tell me this. Tell me this. Uh, because your your move is right around the corner, right, Justin? Uh, May 30th. Holy I cow, that's like in two weeks. Out. Yeah, I fly out to San Francisco, and uh, I'll begin working the next day at uh, the Go Game, my new place of employment at the TWG. Are you going to... Are I, Wow. Uh, TWG is what? The Golden Gate? Uh, the Go Game. Oh, the Go Game. <laughs> Not anymore. It's now the Golden Gate Go Game. Golden Gate. The uh, T Quadruple G. <laughs> G. God damn. Well, uh, Justin, you probably answered this before. Are you actually going to do any NSFW from the brick house? Yeah, well, we were Are talking you? about that. But, but this well, is part of the reason we want to figure out this issue here with you is because obviously, you know, in the badass brick house is going to be a better studio than, mm -hmm. uh, than necessarily with a Skype cam. And uh, an apartment in Oakland. Uh, yeah, so I would like to. I mean, we'll, we'll see. I think that would be really cool. And also, uh, that's part of the reason why I would like to kind of uh, – it would help for like the summer music series if uh, you could coordinate, like we could actually get bands into the studio oh and kind of have it be because summer music series was really really good last year, but like unless we had somebody who really kind of knew their stuff technically, like we had like Julia Noons who was well versed in performing for her webcam. Other than that, it it was like kind of a crapshoot. I would love. If we could get people into the studio and just rock out like that, that would be so super sweet. Now, now that's good for – I guess there's a lot of talent there in the, the Bay Area, including right around the corner. Should, oh, should we start a campaign? We, we should wait until after the Summer Music Series starts to campaign for it. But uh, a certain extraordinarily popular YouTube collaborative. Well, uh, the, the legend, allegedly uh, the, the – Pablo Moose. Pablo right? Moose was, was like, Moose like within lives, an hour uh, of Petaluma. Yeah, they live like right next to where I as uh, finds Lagunitas lying pet planted in flower beds and pulls them out yeah, for free. It's, it's everywhere. Like it's in the middle of the street. There are people holding them. You just take it from them. And it's anytime you do it, Pablo Moose pops out and starts playing a song for you. It's yeah, the one, and the chicks just start singing, and the odd. guys like banging on like an old shoe container. And <laughs> hey, so tell me this, Justin: Are what are you most uh, like? How are you logistically moving your stuff out there? Okay, so dig this. Um, my mom actually had this idea, and I thought it was brilliant because uh, I don't. I'm not going to bring my bed. I'm going to be bring, I'm going to be rolling fairy light. I have like a television and like like this mm -hmm. uh, thing, and I don't know a few other things. And my mom had the idea. That instead of me getting like a U-Haul and driving it out there, that I'll ship my car out. But because I have a hatchback that I can lay everything down, I'll pack my car full of stuff. Oh, brilliant. And so I talked to the people that are shipping it and they said I can fill the car up uh, as long as it's below the window line. Okay. So the window it's not a ton of stuff, but it's enough for like my television and everything. Uh, like some pictures in the walls. Uh, other than that, everything else is going to go, and uh, I'll just buy other stuff when I'm out in. Uh, well, because yeah, you're in that you're in that situation right now where it's like you got roommates, and so so you you have like what communal furniture right now, or yeah, oh yeah, none of the main stuff is mine. Like uh, pretty much, I have a, I have you know, I'll tell you what, maybe this can be, a, this might have to be a chat room thing because there are a few things that I've been talking about not bringing with me. Really? Maybe this would be a good a time as any All right. to reveal that um... <gasps> no, no, he might not be coming. With creepy me. Santa. No, He's not flying on the plane with you. They're like, not creepy Santa. I claim creepy Santa. What? Yeah, Santa. No, <laughs> creepy Santa. Creepy Santa. Uh, <laughs> Listen, Creepy Santa has been with me for several years, creeping out any girl that I bring home. And, uh, you know, it might he might have done it. He might have creeped his last creep because uh, I don't know if it's really going to be financially feasible for me to uh, ship him separately. <laughs> you know, or what? to take up an entire you... one of my bags when I fly out. Auction set up an auction on the is, is there still is does eBay still do auctions? I would rather. I don't know. Should it be an auction or should I just give it to the chat realmer with the best? I think you should ask the Santa devil story. about yeah, this. You should ask the devil. You know what? Here, let me. Let me hold on. Wait a minute. Here. Let's hold on. We can always ask the devil. Yeah, here listen. We go. Ladies and gentlemen. So, Justin, uh, it sounds like you got a heck of a problem here, but it's not up to you or me to solve this. We're going to kick it over to old Scotch himself. Let's ask the old devil. Old Scotch? Isn't that it? 
In it, do they call him old, old Scotch? Scratch. No, I I could have sworn uh, they call him Old Scotch too. Because I read, no, I read. Oh, that's Tom Merritt. <laughs> old Scratch. People are correcting me. I could have sworn that it was Old Scotch when I read Pierce Anthony's old Incarnations. Scotch. Is actually what he was called. Incarnations of Immortality series. I know. That's the drunk devil. So this is the... <laughs> exactly. Good point. Anyway, let's ask Old Scratch. Run a contest. Up, oh, up. Oh. <laughs> uh... Is it? Uh, that's some great uh, advice from old. Uh, what? Uh, what kind of contest do you think we should do? Okay, so uh, I'm sure there's something that needs naming or some kind of. Let's see what could you possibly do. Do you need a new segment on NSFW? Do you need anything that the audience could help with? I feel like maybe uh, this should be a YouTube thing. Like maybe people should submit their YouTube videos about what they, where they would put creepy sand. All right, no, no, here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Oh if wait, no, Photoshop contest. Photoshop contest of where they should take a, an image of Creepy Santa, and they should put him in well, a location. Well, Photoshop where they contest, people will just be like, like, oh, the Death Stars, where I put him. <laughs> yes, exactly. But okay, so so make a YouTube video. But here's the problem: if they put forth the effort to make a YouTube video, I don't want them going home empty-handed, right? Because they put in like hours and hours. They're like, oh, what Bill Meeks was slightly higher production value, and then they get nothing. So you got to just give away like I got something. plenty of crap. That's what I'm away. saying. I'm saying you're like you're like, hey man, you did great. Here's here's a photo of a chupacabra. And then they'll be like, oh, I'll tell you what, I have, I still have the original, I have tons of NSFW stuff. Like I have the, uh, the original cards that we gave Veronica Belmont for the last Dragon Con episode with the, where you can clearly see the TARDIS is spelled out correctly. In oh July. my God. So much memorabilia. This is great, man. So I got a I got a bunch of stuff that I can give away. Oh, hey, you know I'll what? Give away maybe, and I guess uh, I got, I got a bunch of coins too. I got old John Smokey collectible coins that anyone but Justin can have. Um, so maybe if you if you make a video uh, that that doesn't win, we could send you those. So what's the video? Is the video all take care of creepy Santa? <sighs> yeah, maybe it is. Uh, or or should it be something that we that would be easier for us to pass around? Should it be a home for creepy Santa, or should it just be tell your friends about an SFW? Like try to spread the word on an SFW. And I like you want you want to know upright. Like sometimes we can do things that'll that'll spread the word on the show. Yeah, this one we're keeping. All right, this is in house. This is by us for us. This is Fubu. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's the Fubu video contest, folks. <laughs> Find a home for Creepy Santa. Creepy Santa. Now I, I've, I've made the decision right here now. You know what? Actually, but but if you're gonna tag it, make sure you tag it NSFW Bufu B U F U NSFW Bufu. That'll be what we look for. <clears throat> You know what Bufu stands for? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> Which is even better when you say creepy it means Santa. Bobo, you effed up. <laughs> I'll put creepy Santa next to Bobo's crib. Oh my gosh. I'm sure Lonely.geek already has like a fully functioning video. If he does, I'm going to freak the hell out. God damn it, he does. He already does has. He actually have one? <laughs> There we go. Wow. There we go. Lonely.geek. All right, so uh, the game is afoot, my friends. Uh, let's, all right, here are the rules. Number one, you're going to email all your submissions to nsfwshow at gmail.com. The title of your email will be Bufu Video Contest. <laughs> B-U-F-U Video Contest. NSFW Bufu, because I don't want to get mixed up with the, all the, with the other Bufus out there. <laughs> you want to scratch Bufu. Creepy Santa video contest. Okay. Creepy right. Santa video contest is what you're going to call the email. It's going to be keep them short. For God's sakes, we don't want to watch 18 minutes of you staring at the camera and screaming. Okay? That's what we do for a living. <laughs> We're amazed you can tolerate it. We don't have time for this crap. Creepy Santa video contest. Keep it short. Keep it pithy. Focus on what you would do with, with that guy. Man, you have no idea the... 
I almost should go back to every girl that's ever been in my room just so they can give you horrified uh, presentations of how happy they are that that's no longer going to be in my life <laughs> or awesome. how horrified they were when they saw it. Uh, right on, man. Well, uh, <clears throat> do, do you have time? Can we hang? I don't mind making this an extra long episode because because this is a rare opportunity where like IAS has done exactly what you're doing. IAS smelled an opportunity, ditched everything he had on the East Coast and has gone on and he's he's a year into your future. This is your chance to ask him stuff. What else do you want to know? I have a wife and a kid? What? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and you're constantly uh -huh. on fire. Forgot to mention that part, too. The fire issue is, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm working on that. As best as I hear is the answer, but there's a problem with that. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I, I think, you know, for, for, for TNT, I mean, you, you walked into such a great position, you know, because, you know, that, that's just an awesome show and you fit so perfectly for it. Uh you know, I don't know. I don't know what 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 uh like. I don't give you. I don't know, give me advice. Why am I asking okay, you questions? Here, here's the thing. So like, I, I've have some other East Coast friends. I moved out here, and all they do is they complain about the fact that the stuff on the East Coast is not here. If you are just going to complain and wonder, where's all that stuff that I liked over there? You're going to hate it out here. If you are willing to enjoy yourself while you're out here, you'll have a much better time. So Ooh, wherever okay. you are in San Francisco, Petaluma, or if you're in between. You should do yourself a favor and just enjoy what you got there. No, but if like you just bitch and moan about tasty cakes. You're gonna be okay. Angry. Well, I'm not. Listen, I'm not some Philadelphia goon who's gonna be screaming, yelling about <laughs> tasty cakes and uh, scrapple. Okay, I can mm -hmm. I can handle it. I think I think I'll be all right. And, and I like where I'm where I'm gonna be. Oakland, the Lake Merritt part of Oakland. Because I tell all my friends I'm moving to Oakland, and they're like, "Dude, you're gonna get shot. Give me your valuable." <laughs> oh yeah, you should enjoy being shot. <laughs> Definitely yeah. be enjo enjoy up, being like, shot because and an also enjoy having experience. a really crappy football team. Yeah. You're going to love but, it out there. Oh, by the way, I am. Oh, here's, here's an actual thing. So I'm going to go. When I, when I flew out for uh, the interview with the Go Game uh, or the Golden Gate, as Brian uh, refers to The it. Golden Gate uh, Go Gamers. Uh, I, it was right when the NFL schedule came out. And I found out that week three, my beloved Pittsburgh Steelers play at Oakland at the Oakland Coliseum. And so I was like, well, that's a pretty good omen, you know, that I, I'm going to go there because I would really like to go see that game. Because all I've ever heard watching as you grow up as a football fan is that the most dangerous stadium to go to as a visiting fan is the Oakland Coliseum. That people, the you know, fans get thrown off, you know, the, the upper decks and get stabbed and murdered and everything. So I'm like, that's, that's an experience I want to have. It'd be really super sweet. And I've told all, my brother's going to fly out. We're going to go to the game. And my not only my mom who is worried about everything, but like Pittsburgh Steeler fan friends of mine are like, yeah, uh, I'm not going to go. Like you're actually going to die. Really? You're gonna wear an opposite Jersey and you're going to get killed. Are you going to, you're going to actually wear an opposite Jersey? Uh, yeah, I'm going to wear a Steelers Jersey wow. or a Steelers but shirt. You have life insurance. <laughs> That's right. Have life insurance first. I would not recommend. But I mean like this isn't the seventies anymore. Like people don't you, actually wait, get stabbed. Didn't you see that thing about games, the Dodgers right? fan who got like their ass kicked? Was it in San Francisco? Or the other yeah, way that around? Was that was a Giants game. game. That was a Giants. That was baseball, and nobody cares about really... baseball. There's 162 games. There's only 16 games in football. I don't think this is a good idea. Pizza! Well, people are actually saying seriously, don't do it. Apparently, Liz is is in the studio screaming and yelling for my safety <laughs> that I should not be going. She is. She said, yeah, no, apparently it's a real deal, which which you realize to Justin Robert Young. See, you guys don't quite understand just the way I do. The more you shout, like, seriously, you will die <laughs> in his heart. He's going to be like, it's going to be so sweet. Well, <laughs> totally going to do it. A camera attached to your head or something. <laughs> no, something you the more everyone's the like, you're going to die, you're going to die. The more it's you. just going to end up being me in the sandwich board that Bruce Willis wears in Die Hard 3 <laughs> as he walks through Harlem. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, all right. Well, I guess we should start wrapping things up. Do you have any any other projects you want to you want to promote, Mr. Ayaz? We know, of course, you're on the award win the Academy Award winning uh, Tech News Today. Oh yeah, so I'm doing a new show coming what? up on the 12th, I think, of June. I don't know if that's actually going to happen, but it's going to happen. Uh, know how? It's a how to show on Twit. It should be Tuesdays at four o'clock. It'll be me and this uh, young unknown fellow named Leo Laporte. I hear he's a big good. man, right? Uh, mm. Yeah, we're going to be talking about how to do stuff. So it's going to be lots of fun, and I'm looking forward to this the 12th. I even have a cartoon 
for my album arts. What? You're legit now. You're a Believe real it. boy. Also, I'm doing a new gaming show on Twitter. <laughs> Too soon? Pizza! Okay. All right. Uh, Justin, what do you got, man? Uh, oh, I'll tell you what. I, I do a show called Jerry Fridays that is just literally me yelling at a camera at 10 o'clock in the morning on Fridays. So if you want to watch it, then do it. If you don't, then don't. Uh, but I would really love, I'm really obsessed with this. I'm going to, I'll give away a ton of stuff, a ton of NSFW memorabilia. Uh, if you guys do this creepy Santa video contest, upload your videos, like make them a minute max. Come on folks, be, make them clever. And, and I guess, uh, you want to run the contest right up until the last day before I leave? Yeah, absolutely. Heck yeah. That way you get more effort because people listen to this stuff late. They're like, I can't ever. That's only for the live listeners in the chat realm. I'm afraid. I'm afraid I don't I'm have time. I'm afraid that, you know, I can't get in my video because everybody else is in the I'm, work, I work in the, I'm running the steam engine all day long, I am. I don't have time to make the YouTubes. Brian, that sounds like a real big problem. I wonder what the devil would say about it. Devil, what do you have to say? Buy more cheese. <laughs> there we go. Another NSFW is done. Oh, uh, no, man. It's not done. Wait, here we go. Especially well, I was getting stop. word that my new gaming show has been canceled. Oh, oh wow. no. well, that didn't so. take long. Darn. It's all right. 15 minutes. I'll buy you a Lagunitas IPA, uh. sit down, have an In-N-Out burger, throw it at the Chick-fil-A, go, go put on a Pittsburgh Steelers jersey. There's no the surprise that your show was canceled, Sarah Lane. And it's <laughs> The show is through and it breaks my heart cuz Oh my gosh, there's a spider on the table. Well, <laughs> Kill it, Kill it, Darren. Kill it. Kill it. <laughs> Oh, I'd rather be dipped in honey and fed to a big ant pile Than do without Justin Robert Young for even a little Nobody while Nobody won Oh, NSFW I love you Special Report <laughs> I think we have a, there's a minute, a minute we need to do. Oh, wait, I don't have a link. Nobody sent me a link. Quickly, link, 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 link. link. We got to do the draft minute. Give me a link. Give me a link. It's not too late. It's not too late. It's not too late. Somebody it's just a little bit late. Send Here we go. Alex Albrecht a link. What? Okay, go in. No. Oh. Welcome to Movie Draft Minute for the week of May 14th, 2012. I'm your host, Roberto Viegas. Check your training wheels at the door, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be one incredible draft. Here comes week eight. Sarah Lane remains in sixth place, still waiting for her first film. Veronica Belmont's in fifth place with $309.7 million. Brian Brushwood's still in fourth place with Dark Shadows bringing in $28.8 million, bringing his total to $42.9 million. Justin Robert Young remains in third place with yeah. $81.7 million. Tom Merritt's in second place with the Avengers bringing in $103.1 million, bringing his total to $387.8 million. And in first place with $427.9 million, it's Scott Johnson. This draft is about to explode, and that is your movie draft minute for the week of May 14th, 2012. Man, I don't know. I don't know Dude, what to Tom say. Tom Rapesnake Merritt. <laughs> did, did you wait? Did you say Tom Rapesnake Merritt? He's sneaking up Scott's ass. <laughs> okay, bye. Our I show. mean, we're like punk rock in that we suck. Well, no, well, yeah, no, that's true. That's true. Hold on. You know, else is very wait. punk rock. Oh, wait a second. That was good. <laughs> What's up, Jay? Jay Balls. <laughs> What's up, mother? Oh no, Jay, we're stuck. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs>
<laughs> Still on to it. I had to be careful. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. You lose. You lose.